Hi, this is Sam of Pitch from samofpitch.com. I want to tell you a very quick story. So, it's about affirmations. So we all know what affirmations are, right? Affirmations are a statement of intent. They're usually said in the present and they're trying to get you to affirm something you wish to be real, such as I am um, I am successful. I am going to I am getting this red Lamborghini in the next 21 days I am attracting a beautiful woman into my life I am receiving twenty thousand dollars from an unknown source and I don't have to work for it okay so we know about affirmations sorry just had to pick my nose ah okay so <clears throat> I want to tell you my quick story about affirmations. Two weeks ago, I wrote down an affirmation for myself, and um, I'm in I'm in this present job, and I and I desperately want to get back to teaching for a couple of reasons. One, I get to work less and be with my family more, and secondly, I'm, I would be paid twice as much than I am now. So, and I know that I can do it. So, I wrote down this affirmation in my in my in my book, you know, it's, it's my personal development book, and I I said to the effect of, I am attracting a full time teaching position within the next two weeks. This position is going to be heaps of fun. It's going to be utilizing my full skills and talents. It's going to be all done for me, so I don't have to plan anything, and it's going to be within thirty minutes of home this or something better and so the effect of was I'm going to attract a full-time teaching position within the next two weeks you know or with and has all that stuff that or something better put out to universe said it multiple times forgot all about it yesterday so yesterday I get a call ring 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 it's the um, it's the relief coordinator from one of my favorite schools and she calls up and says you know someone's going on long service leave and um, are you available for these particular dates? It's going to be full-time work. Um, it's all done for you. And, um, you know, are, are you available? I'm like, yes, that's so cool. So at the, mo at, at the time, I'm going, awesome, that's it, you know. At the end of this term, I can quit, you know, and, and, and get back to teaching. And then, I, then I was, as I was walking away, I was thinking to myself, I got exactly what I want. I got exactly what I want. I asked for that within two weeks I would get a full time teaching position. So that was a week ago. And someone has now given me a full time teaching position. I asked for the fact that it would all be done for me. It's a relief position, so all the work's done. I asked for that it'd be really fun. I love relief teaching. I asked for that it'd be within 30 minutes. It's within 15. On 20, 20, uh, 25, depending on the traffic. So what's missing here? One, I asked to receive a full-time teaching position. I did, but I didn't state when I wanted to start teaching. So this teaching position is for next term, which hey, which is totally fine by me. I'm cool, but in the last couple of um. The last couple of weeks, <clears throat> I've been telling myself, and I consider it true, I've been telling myself, you know what, there's not going to be any teaching positions. I've said it out loud, I've fought it. I said, there's not going to be any relief teaching positions because it's first term. You know, all the teachers actually want to do some work, they're not getting sick yet. Um, you know, just a little grubbed at, at, at teachers. <laughs> and, you know, there's not going to be any, teach, uh, any relief uh, work or anything. And you know what, there hasn't been any relief work. So I, I don't know. Well, obviously, it's true, but I've said it to myself as well. And I've said repeatedly, you know what, there's not, not going to be anything until next term. So I've been affirming this stuff this whole time. No, there's no work going to be next term, no work. And guess what? There's no work until next term. Here's the next thing I realized I didn't put down. I didn't put down how long I was going to be teaching. I got myself a full-time teaching position, yeah? But it's only for three weeks. Ideally, I would like a teaching position for the remainder of the year. But I didn't say that. 
that that's not you have you have a look at the thing. It's it's I didn't write it down. So I'm going, oh, dang, okay, I, I yeah, I got exactly what I want, but that affirmation wasn't detailed enough. Now, should you be more detailed? Yes, but, and this is a big but, okay? So I had a quick chat to, my, to one of my personal development coaches, a very, very spiritually aware person. And um, it's going to be off. No, this is very much on a tangent. So she said, in your affirmations, you want to be more general. You want to be really, really general, not more detailed. And I'm going, what? I, everyone's been telling me more detailed. Um, really? And she goes, yes. Okay, if, think about it. What are you, what are you affirming? Okay, as soon as you affirm something, you're also affirming something that you're not affirming. So whatever you say, like, I really want, I, you know, I am attracting a red car. You're, yeah, so you're gonna, you can get a red car, but you're also affirming all the things that it's not. You haven't said, you know, what, you know, what type of model, when, how, what, you know, how are you going to attract it? You know, you'd be affirming for like three hours if you had to be so specific and you know dilute the whole thing anyway so and what is what are you usually affirming that's the question you got to ask yourself where's the affirmations come from is it coming from your heart or is it coming from your head is it coming from your ego that's telling you you know you should be doing this you know is your ego saying i'm going to get twenty thousand dollars in the next month by doing nothing is that is that god talking is that infinite intelligence talking? Is that your soul talking? Or is that you talking saying, I, I really could use $20,000? Hey, yeah, you could get $20,000, but it might mean that a, you know, a loved one, a, you know, a grandparent who you love must die and you get it through inheritance. I don't know. So you're, when, you, when you're specific in your affirmations, you know, there's nothing wrong with them, but at the same time, just ask yourself, where is this affirmation coming from? Most of the time, you really think about it, affirmations are coming from the ego. It's about what you want, what you think you need, um, you know, what you think is best. So I got, I got coached on this crazy idea that maybe you, you know, the, the, you know the surf, at a surface level, you don't know what's best. Inside your heart, your soul, your, your inner being, you know, your, your God force inside of you, that really knows what's best. And it's always guiding you into your, you know, your greater, greater purpose on, onto a life that you, you should be getting. So what's a really good affirmation that pretty much sums it all, that you can use at any time, that will give you exactly what you need? Okay, here it is. I learned it last night. Now you get it for free. I, you know. The affirmation is, God is taking excellent care of me right now. I'm getting everything I need before I need it. I'll say it again. God is taking excellent care of me right now. I'm getting everything I need before I need it. And when I'm saying God, you know, I'm saying you know, your inner God, I'm saying the God of the universe and everything like that. Let's, let's break this down. God is taking excellent care of me right now. It's putting it in the present. It's saying right now you are being taken care of. You know, if you saw my last video, it's about having the inner faith that your life is going according to plan whether you realize it or not you are perfectly doing what you should be doing and you're going to be looked after regardless you're going to be okay and if you can realize that you have a greater purpose and you are living that greater purpose then you can sleep easy at night you can stop worrying if you really 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 had faith and you really understood at, a, at the core of your being that you were going to be okay would you ever really worry 
So you're actually, you're actually affirming that you understand that God is taking care of you. Okay? So, and the second thing is, everything, I'm getting everything I need before it becomes a need. So once more, it goes back to the whole idea that you're being taken care of, that before you even consider that there's a need, it's already been taken care of. It's going to be taken care of before you even really think about it. You know, before you think of, you know, how you're going to um, pay the bills or, you know, how you're going to approach this relationship that's not working so well, you know, you've got the resources for it already. I'm not saying you sit on your bum and, you know, money's going to fall out of the sky. I'm saying you've got the resources. You've got everything you need to move forward. It might be you might have the patience. You might have all the patience you need. You might have the inner courage to decide, you know what, I'm going to step out, step up, move forward. I'm going to have the confidence, the quiet confidence that says, you know, you can respect me. So, you might consider that. You don't have to do it. You've got plenty of things to do. But, you know, that little affirmation there is powerful. Because you don't have to keep thinking up new affirmations about what you want. you just got to really, really, really understand that you're being taken care of and that all your needs are being taken care of before they become a need. And if you really, really think about that, that's all you need, right? Okay, this is Samith from samithpitch.com. Hope you have an awesome day. See ya.